swala la ukosefu usalama linapoendelea kuwa kero katika kaunti za bonde la ufa Ijuma jioni watu watatu waliuawa katika eneo la Chesongoch County Elgio Marakwet. Watatu wale wanaaminika walikuwa mabalozi wa amani hapa wakipatana na mauti yao walipokuwa naelekea kusuluhisha mgogoro wa wizi wa mifugo. Today they have been murdered and as fate had it they have been killed all of them together at the same afternoon. How painful can that be? What do their families feel like this evening? What is the county looking like this evening? Everyone is almost losing hope that now this thing is not going to end. From 1976, we are in 2024, January, at the most, most uh, important part because we have, we have been relying on these peace committees to help us get peace. Now who else? Who else will help us? Who else will help the community? Who will, these are the only guys who are using to, who used to call very courageous who used to call for peace meetings who will now call for these peace meetings even if government wants us to talk baadhi ya viongozi wa eneo hilo wakiongozwa na gavana Wesley Rotich wamekashifu tendo hilo wakisema wanaendelea kukabiliwa na mzigo wa maafa wa jamaa zao mauti haya kisababisha ongezeko la mzigo wa masomo kwa watoto yatima waliowachwa na jamaa zao Patrick ni chemu wa Endo Peace Committee na Patrick pia ni social worker wa Justice and Peace ya katika Elore Diocese katika eneo la Kiriwale kwa muda mrefu amekuwa akipigania mambo ya amani kwa kwa muda mrefu sana a, vile vile suter when I was doing the campaigns, we buried almost 400 people. Now today we are starting with three. So it means if you can keep three per day, we will, it will be three, six, five times three is a thousand people per year. We are already having a huge number of orphans. As a governor, I cannot even manage to take the, all of them to school. I cannot manage to give all of them bursaries. That means those children whose parents have been killed today, Mwalimu has been the best teacher in Kombasas. Sasa wanaitaka serikali ikiongozwa na Wizara Usalamu wa Ndani kuingililia kati na kuamrisha majangili wale wa uwawe kwani wamekuwa tishio la usalama katika kaunti ya Elgeyo Marakwet. That bandits can roam Kerio Valley and kill people at will, people who are unarmed, people who are going to a peace meeting to recover stolen livestock. It is it is time that banditry is declared as terrorism. It's a total setback. It's a total setback in the peace efforts in Kerio Valley, and I want to request the CS Professor Kindiki. He has tried to bring us NPRs and all this, but I think there is still a problem. I also want to tell uh, CS Duali that there is still a problem in Kerio Valley, and the moment this thing starts to summon. It will always spread to the entire Korean